two, one, ignition. And lift off. Copy, one alpha. Get both fishing down range. Trajectory nominal. GLS is go for part sequence four. And in just a few seconds, GLS will close the core stage LOX vent, liquid oxygen. The white vapor cloud caused from the super cold gaseous oxygen condensing the water in the atmosphere will disappear. You see it coming out there now. And there it goes, it's closed. LOX vent closed, pressure rising in the core stage LOX tank to flight levels. Coming up. In 15 seconds, look for that thrust vector control actuator test. Engines will gimbal. And there they go. The four core stage RS-25 engines gimbling around, testing the ability to steer the rocket into space. They will operate at 109% performance each RS-25 throwing down a half million pounds of thrust, all four, two million pounds, all together with the boosters, 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. GLS is good for upper stage to internal power. Now the upper stage has gone to internal power. One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T-minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus GLS two seconds. GLS is go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The space launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. 10. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Hearing good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q in about one minute and nine seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. traveling 607 miles per hour. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust. Quiet here in the loops in mission control. Four core stage engines are throttling down ahead of passing through max Q. traveling at 1,420 miles per hour. The four core stage engines are back at maximum thrust. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison at about two minutes and 11 seconds into the flight, so about 30 seconds from now. Again, quiet here in Mission Control Houston as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis 1. We're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour.
standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. 